installing the uh, light kit on the um, X Max, drilling the holes for this uh, backing plate for mounting the light bar to the body. First thing is install this template on the back window. It's a marked up piece of tape. And I used a 1 16th drill bit to drill a starter hole on the center line of each one of the holes. I used a drill bit because I don't have the Lexan tapered reamers that they're talking about using. And then remove the tape. Off camera, I use a number 11 X-Acto knife to deburr the holes inside and out. So now you have the holes laid out for the backing plate. Now we'll mount the backing plate. And it looks like all the holes line up nicely. Use these screws and the smaller holes that fastens the backing plate to the body. I'll save this template. If I ever have to drill a replacement body, let's keep it on this piece of wax paper that it came on. And to me, these directions are a little bit sketch. Here's drilling the uh, holes in the body, jumps to install the amplifier. Installing the front light bar and the bumper. Here's installing the back light bar that we're working on. Doesn't show the wires going through. Here it does. Either way, I'm gonna mount the, uh, mount the light bar on the body next. This is the rear light bar. It's got two wires coming off it. Run these wires through this eighth inch hole. There's two different length button head cap screws, 12 millimeter on the left, 10 millimeter long on the right. For the rear light bar, we'll use the 10 millimeter button head cap screws. Very nice hardware. They have bosses that on the backing plate that locate this rear light bar. All feels like quality hardware to me. There's the rear light bar mounted, nice and secure, backing plate, the wire's coming through. So here's this wiring harness installed to the backing plate, have a, have a wire tied here, which I believe if the body comes off on a crash this is going to jerk loose this is pretty secure right here but it makes me think why they didn't have it in the directions this wiring harness is also used for something else it only uses two of the plugs and I have this excess wiring here which I just doubled over wrapped it under the wire ties nice neat installation very secure This light bar with a single wire goes in this opening in the bumper with the wire on the left side of the truck. It also has these little pockets that fit over bosses, locates it nicely. This looks well protected, tucked inside the bumper. 
I got to run these wires through here. Wire tie this neatly to the frame. This front bar will mount with these 8mm socket head cap screws. So the directions call for mounting this up here with the wiring and the plugs facing forward. And we'll use these 12 millimeter um, button head cap screws. The next thing is to remove this cover on this plug on the left side of the ESC. The directions call for removing this cover, two screws. As you can see, I've started to unplug the motor and ESC in order to pull the cover. And I realized it's just captured under two little prongs here and here on the cooling fan shroud. If I tip it with mule nose pliers that way toward the left side of the truck, I can pull the plug out without pulling the cover off the fan. Now plug this 8 pin connector into this port on the ESC, left side of the ESC. You can only go in one way. And you have to tip it in at an angle also, same way that cover came out. So you can get underneath those two little fins on the side of the ESC. Now we can plug this wire from the front light bar. It's marked with white into the white port. I think I'll run it under this wire Snap that in. Now we'll plug in the short power lead for the rear light bar. Again, we'll only be using the red and the blue. They're marked. Simple stuff here. Plug it into the power amplifier. Then we'll wire tie this power lead to the frame here and the body comes off. This is where to unplug from. So off camera, I've ran these wires as it shows in the diagram, wire tied them in place. Nice seat installation. You also have this picture here showing an actual truck with the wiring. So ran the wire, main wire to the power amplifier from the ESC right here. Here's the short lead wire tied to the frame going to the rear light bar, the body in the rear light bar. Here's a blue wire running up to the front of the light bar. Trim these wire ties now. Cut these zip ties off on the body. And there's that installation complete. All right, let's test this system out. Lighting kit is installed complete. Got some lipids in here. Sound. 
It's power. Load select. My lights. My beam. Looks like driving lights, daytime driving. So this also has a plug that can only orient one way. Plug that in. That'll just sit up under there with the rest of the wiring. How are we going to do this now? Well, I can change the mode to lights. And we got tail lights. So to further test this, we're going to have to get this on the ground, check out brakes, reverse lights. And I know from um, my Max, haven't got it installed yet, but get the Bluetooth in here. I can um, turn the lights on and off, high low beams from the um, from the app on my phone. Bit of a wrap before I take this outside. A tip, I installed a second wire tie in the short lead that goes to the body. Figure it's going to get a little bit of pulling on, being unplugged every time we take the body off. <laughs>